With their journey through the labyrinthine tunnels complete, our people's greatest hour was finally upon us. As Henry's warriors surged forth from the caverns and charged the ramparts of the captured city, every last element of the Allfather's beleaguered military launched an assault across the entirety of Hugen's surface. Now, to the gate! The Concord will only be distracted for a moment. This is your only chance, Henry. Your people's only hope. Like an axe splits, fever drive a veg between their forces. I will lead the charge, your warriors to me. Into the breach, my Vardenari. Slay the beast, save our world for you. What's up, everybody? I'm Kevin. And I'm Sergey. And, and we are the Tabletop Warlords. And once again, we find ourselves playing a game of Beyond, Beyond the, the Gates of Antares. Welcome to the exciting conclusion of the Michael Crow campaign. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about, stop right now and check out these links that will allow you to begin the campaign proper. We're joining Henry the Red on the final leg of his epic journey as he brings his modified nuclear missile to the uh, gates of a C3 captured city. That said, it's a very simple scenario in which all he has to do is get to that teleporter pad attached to the warship in orbit. Uh, and he's gonna have plenty of help uh, in regards to his mercenaries this time around. Uh, but uh, one of the biggest things that's gonna be weird is that the terrain is gonna be a little interesting this time. We wanted to do something a little bit unique this time, so we're actually going to have this battlefield have a scrolling element to it. So as Henry moves up the field, the battlefield will scroll backwards, revealing more of the city in an epic terrain extravaganza the likes YouTube has never seen. <laughs> That said, let us break out this terrain and the models that will be fighting on it and get this party started. Yeah. And here we have our battlefield for today. The tides have really turned because whereas the Concord was sieging the Hugen city before, now the Hugen folk are re-sieging their own city. Uh, now the Concord have taken over, so you can see right off the get, there's a little bit of a difference in the form of energy shields already popping up. Uh, and we have a light uh, force of defenders starting with two strike squads and a single combat light support drone, and then thundering on to the middle of the field. This is mid charge, we've captured Henry and some of his more elite soldiers. Now, uh, Henry is going to be uh, transported with the modified nuclear weapon uh, in one of the Grungnir pattern transports. Uh, and there's going to be another one also uh, just kind of accompanying, also loaded up with Varger warriors. You can see the Freeborn have provided a light attack skimmer uh, armed with a plasma, uh, looks like a cannon, I think? No, that was a plasma light support and a uh, Unit is a little bit different now for Henry. Now you can not tell because he's inside the uh, transport, but Henry is going to have his normal squad with medic, but the arch coordinator Aether has decided to join herself with two bodyguards. And if that's not all, we're going to see a return of the Maturin bodyguard we had in one of our custom scenarios uh, has also been assigned to Henry to make sure that he can complete the mission. Now, the mission. Now that we've said that, it's basically going to be getting into the Concord City and arriving at the Concord Transport Node, which is attached to the warship in orbit. Now, all Henry has to do is have his unit specifically, he cannot be inside of a vehicle, his unit with the nuke just needs to end their movement on that pad. And he has basically set himself up to automatically be transported. Uh, now, if that doesn't happen and the nuke is uh, basically abandoned and there's no longer any units that can uh, grab it like any other objective, uh, the Concorde have won the day and will have taken over the planet. Now, to help out in this initial phase of the battle, uh, there's going to be a sonic attack uh, that is happening at the exact same time as this charge towards the gate, and the gate itself is going to be a potential target of this attack. Uh, and then, like Sergey said in the beginning, we have a very uh, adventurous idea for this table today, and that is that as soon as Sergey's entire force has traversed basically two more feet into the table, the entire surface of the table is going to shift to the right two feet, or I guess from our current orientation. 
and it's going to reveal more of the Concord City until Sergei has moved deep enough into the city to uh, reveal the location of the Transmat Pad. So this is gonna be a really wild one. Uh, there's a lot more forces that are going to be arriving onto the table in successive turns, but it's gonna be so crazy. We're just gonna, we're just gonna show it as it happens. So get ready to enjoy the last episode in the Michael Crow campaign. All across the surface of Hugen, the Ostmen are unloading their entire world's worth of artillery, and this battlefield is no different. So I'm doing a sonic attack. Yeah. Uh, it's the same rules as any other sound attack for the most part. So rolling for this character, a seven. I think that's like that's just one pin. pin. The robot. I'm hoping I can kill this robot. Oh, oh nothing on the ten. This one, a five. That is also one pin. Ooh, not a great sonic attack, but. We decided for this, like, it's going to be pretty hard to miss that with artillery. So we're just going to, by default, do a 2d10 damage to it to see how effective the shelling was against the gate. And, oh, 12. 12. I so believe it's destroyed. Right? Because it's 10 total. And it only had 10 hit points, so it is destroyed. Effects. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we still do that? I don't have <laughs> access to a professional sound library. <laughs> so on the final approach, Henry's forces were able to bomb the entrance open, sending a shockwave of fear down the strike troops on the wall. How will this battle will go? You get will not fall. Okay, so there's two squads within the vehicles that Hugen possesses. So they actually have eight order dice to begin with, and the Concord defenders are going to start with three. Let's see how this first turn goes. First dice, final battle. Hugen! For my first move, I'm going to move with Henry's vehicle, which is just chocked full of warriors. Yes. And I'm going to uh, not move the exact full 16 inches for a run, because this invalidates that group of guys from shooting at this vehicle, which is just fantastic. Nope. <laughs> I don't know why, I we're, like, I got this. Why, why we're anticipating it being anything other than the guy with seven dice Oh, left. spoon! <laughs> yeah. This vehicle right here is probably my least important objective-wise, so I'm going to use it offensively and fire into this guy right here. He is uh, at minus one to hit because he's in the building, but I'm at accuracy five with a fire order, so it just evens out to fives. Yo! Oh, I mean, nice. lucky doesn't really matter here, I don't think, but either way. Okay, the drone is in a building, which means he has plus three res. 11 down to seven means I got a 50-50 chance, and I fail. Yes. So there's a weapon drone uh, chart. Uh, it's a, just all the same oh. chart, right? So he's totally dead with the first plasma car. No, 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 remember? Because eight high is, is good for defensive purposes now, right? Ooh, I got lucky. Eight means that it, well, extra pin. So two pins, not terrible for Sergey. I'll take it. Okay. Ostman again. Uh, I'm gonna punt that dice uh, by having the people inside one of my vehicles go down. Okay. Or not go down, but recovery order. Same thing. So that's both your units in the vehicle. So now it's just, just your vehicle. Now, yeah, I can no longer punt. Haha, <laughs> me. It paid off. I'm going to attempt a fire order with my tower uh, uh, tower strike squad. <laughs> my tower of dudes. Yes, <laughs> I must pass. Oh, seven, so I do. Get rid of that pen. And now I'm gonna do a firing order directly into the transport that I can see still. So that's gonna be basically me hitting on sixes. Shoot. Oh, sorry, I thought you were oh. rolling over here, my bad. I rolled hot fire and hit you with oh everything. Oh my god. So the black will be res four, mm -hmm. everything else is, oh, I'm sorry, strike value four, everything yeah. else is strike value two. Go ahead and two. just roll this where you want, holding the camera. Goodness gracious. Oh. Oh, I think I'm good. Well, one fail oh, on the strike value two. Uh, so you're rendered to 10, so you will get a uh, um, pin. Yeah. Nine! Oh, thank God. Oh. I think that's nothing, right? I think that's no it's either nothing or an extra pin. I think it might be nothing, though. Okay. Uh, it was the same result as on the drone, so that's two pins, unfortunately. Oh, the Concord again. I'm gonna basically do the same thing with the other strike squad. Same vehicle? Oh, yeah. Brutal. As a reminder, this vehicle's reactive armor has been used up due to that failed res test. So uh, it is now at res 11 as opposed to 12. 
Now I still have a pin, so I must pass on a leadership test. Oh, I don't lift the pin when I go down. You're so lucky. Yes. Yugen's will cannot be broken. Damn it. I'm chalking that up to them getting scared. They were scared. They're so scared. It is Osman. <laughs> I'm in an awkward position because I need to use this unit while it's still within my command radius, uh, but it can't jump over the other vehicle and get in front like I want it to be, so I'm just gonna have to deal we with the fact- We haven't created the hydraulics yet. Yeah, I'm just uh, gonna have to deal with the fact that this is a suboptimal move. Hey. I do pass and I lose a pin, and what I think I'm going to do is just advance because that's all I can actually do. Yeah, at least you, you can shoot at the drone still. Yes, exactly. And I will shoot at the drone to hopefully prevent more hits. Now, unfortunately, this is a really crappy shooting order. Uh, I'm going to be hitting only on twos because of the building, rapid fire, and the pin. And I don't hit any, but yeah, yeah it is what it is. Hoogan! I'm going to now move with Henry the Red. I don't, I don't know why. You don't have to roll? He does it. He drives forward. <laughs> Uh, and he moves uh, right up to about where that dice is. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Come on, drone. You gotta. Oh, post it again. Yes. I'm doing a more risky move now. I'm moving with this, and he is outside of his command radius, so I need to pass this. Oh, Ooh. you're so lucky. Okay. Thank goodness. So you lose your pen, and so you're gonna do another 16 run. 16 up. So I think I'm just. Yeah, right on the butt of this other vehicle here. You are a uh, true to fashion convoy. You're like, don't slow down for anything. Anything. 50-50. <laughs> <Nothing. laughs> Concord. All my drone has to do is pass on leadership six or below. Three. You can't see it, sorry. sorry this this I, wall I, has it, a bunch it, of nooks. It was bad camera work. <laughs> so either way. I lose only one pin. I'm going to tick, 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 rotate in place and fire at Henry's, uh, I want to say Warhog, but it's not a Warhog. We have the rights to that. <laughs> it, it is a legally distinct non-Warhog vehicle. Yes. <laughs> okay, um, we don't so have the rights to that song. <laughs> five is brought down to four because of rapid fire, so I'm hitting on fours against Henry's vehicle. Oh God, I hope you don't just Oh, I hit on all three. Are you kidding me? Um, that means oh, that uh, its res is 12, because I've not destroyed its reactive armor, which yeah. means it passes on any roll. And just a ten. Only fails on 10. Ah! Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah! Okay, so you are fine this time, but I do cause a pin, and now we must see if your reactive armor stays on. As long as I roll below, uh, five or below, we're good. Nope. So, oh, so I lose the reactive yes. armor on Henry's vehicle. So now both your vehicles are res 11 Ooh. for the rest of the fight. That feels that feels very vulnerable. And I have the last dice in the bag, and I'm going to use it on my attack skimmer. I'm going to advance and shoot at the drone because it is kind of the easiest thing to destroy here. True. My buddies have showed up because we forgot them earlier. Um, and now I'm not hitting on very good. I'm hitting on fours yeah. because of the building. Oh, oh, I should have done a fire goodness. gunner. <laughs> it's all good. So you hit the building again, but do no damage to the drone. And that concludes turn one. Obviously, the strike squad is the only one that was down for me. So passing on a test five, we're good. So I get the dice back. The final battle has commenced in an explosion of artillery fire, which leveled the Concord's captured gate with Henry the Red exploding through it, hot on the trail of his objective. But will he make it with the guns of the Concord coming to bear? Okay, as we stated before, the, the board has uh, altered as his uh, forces are advancing down the field. So more of the city is revealed. The road is gonna curve off and uh, it seems to be that we're getting the first hint of some defensive structures. There is now a strike commander on the field equipped full uh, fully five-man unit, medi drone and spotter drone as usual. And then another strike squad has made itself apparent on the top of this tall building. Let's see how Henry fares in the second turn of his wild advance. Going into turn two, no one's down or dead. So now it's eight versus five with the new Concord units. First dice of turn two, Postman. 
First things first, I need to protect Henry. He's in a horrible position right now because the, yeah, I mean, everybody can shoot yeah, him. everyone can shoot him. So I'm going to peel out in front with my escort vehicle and do a little Tokyo drift, which is the official term for that maneuver. Yeah. Uh, and just body block. So this unit is unable to see him. Awesome. The name of the game is protecting Henry, and the best way to do that right now is to get out of range of the people on the wall. Makes uh, sense. It's going to put me back into range of this unit, but that was, I mean, you can only body block for so long, and he's going to go right here. I do, however, have to take a command test. Uh, just a, a nine. I'm good. Ooh, eight, you're good. Awesome and again. And I'm going to smash my face directly on the edge of the board. <laughs> oh, seriously? Um, YOLO swag. <gasps> hey, YOLO. <laughs> when they don't know what's going on, uh, it's, it's going to be, we, okay, we need to, to, we need to agree that you cannot build the rest of the field for advantage and like put like a building right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we like just pull out of the little wall. That would be terrible. <laughs> Concord. The commander, probably startled that there's a non, a, a not warthog flying by as fast as it can. <laughs> yeah. Rotate in place and do a fire order right into the side of this big guy. So I'm gonna be hitting on, uh, or it's a, what is it? It's a sixes, sevens. Cause it's oh, large. fire order sevens. Yeah. Oh. oh, eights, cause you're large. So once again, I hit on everything. Oh, so you are res 11 now. Down to nine, so it's still 10. Still, to still only 10s. Oh, yes. so it's a pen, but you, I didn't do anything. I'll take it. Goncourt again. Now my strike squad on top of this building will perform a fire order directly into the back of Henry's transport. Since it's a large target, I'm hitting on sevens. Uh, oh, uh, so everything hits except for one, which I can't reroll because it's a 10. Take it. Um, the black dice is strike value four, so you're failing on um, anything but a eight, nine, or 10. Or I'm sorry, you're, you're passing on anything but an eight, nine, or 10. Oh, so oh, the, you... the lance busts through, and now on the vehicle table, on six. That's I think bad. that's two pins. That was a hammer blow. I take D three pins and I go down, which yeah. is really brutal. Three pins. Uh, okay, this is taking a turn. <laughs> Bosman, I will do an advance order with this unit here and just. Oh, oh goodness. Destroy all the terrain on the way in. Master hand destroys all. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now, the slowest vehicle inside the, the city. What are you doing? I'm going to uh, put a... Wow, what is my... Uh, hold on, let me think about what my effective range is. Unfortunately, those strike troops are just too far away. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is continue throwing pot shots into this drone. Uh, I am hitting on fours. I hit, so penetrating armor. I'm good, uh, but I do take a pin. Also, uh, no, C3. Okay, the furiosity, furiosity, the fury and the speed of uh, the attack of the Ostman means that this strike squad has to spend its turn sprinting back so that it can be relevant. So I have to make an agility test. I fail a six, so I'm gonna have a pin, but I am able to get 15 inches onto the field. Ostman. I want to stay relevant in this battle with this unit because it's very useful and providing me two order dice. Uh, so I'm going to once again advance onto the field and uh, this time shoot into this unit because they already have a pin and I want to hopefully force them down. So you're going to so... hit on fives? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, wait, no. I have a spotter driver. Yep. I haven't been using that. Oh, oh on two sevens. Matter. Okay. C3. I'm gonna attempt an advance with my drone here. I need to pass in a six or lower. Oh yes. no! He loses a pin and goes down, but he's effectively out of the game because of the video game aspect. Of yes, the because, uh, so what we've decided is if you get pushed off of the field with the movie you get the eaten. table, you get eaten by the, by the void. <laughs> awesome. Now, Henry's vehicle is quickly becoming a screaming metal death trap. So I need to get another one and I would have been able to move a couple extra inches because I'm on the road, Jeez. so I'll be able to get right there uh, to be Henry's backup transport. I remember, these are open back, so it's pretty easy to flip between the two of them, which is nice. Now, that is the last of Sergei's vehicle dice. He ran with everything, so his 
infantry dice are basically moved, so it's just yes. me in the bag now. My last unit is now going to sprint so that it does not get eaten by the negative space of the low. Oh no, he got a 10! Yes! Oh, oh no, no, wait, it's wait, not wait, the command test. So you just okay. went <laughs> I literally <laughs> thought he went down. I was like, I was so pissed. Okay, the sorry. Void calls to you, Kevin. A, I may be a little nervous <laughs> about the, the, the results of this fight. So, okay, so they get all the way over here. And since 10 doesn't matter anymore, they just get one pen still. So, unfortunately, Pens across the board, but I mean, in their defense, they did just get bombarded. So. Yeah, bombarded by, I mean, because it's not really a sonic attack when you're talking about Yugi, because they don't have that big Yeah, it's just so like it's shells. Like literally just shelling a building. <laughs> Down order on uh, Henry's vehicle, so it's at sixes. Oh, you lucky duck. So yes. you lose one pen oh, and get the thank dice. Thank goodness, that's helpful. Henry the Red has lanced into C3 territory, but he has taken heavy damage. The C3 are baring their teeth, and more are going to be revealed as he enters the fort further. Can he make it? No one knows. The battlefield has once again lurched forward deeper into the captured Concord City, revealing an area more converted by the uh, forces of the C3. You can see energy barriers everywhere. And once again, the teleporter has appeared. So Henry just has to get to that teleporter and he teleports the modified nuclear weapon up into space. But we have so many more guys now. There are now two new strike squads in defensive positions. Uh, and once again, the new Who Commander. Now, there are two uh, drop strike squads that are actually moving in and are going to be arriving from either long edge. And Sergei's forces also have infantry on the way. They have uh, locked onto the transponders of the uh, vehicles and Sergei's gonna be able to uh, basically transmat in two squads of Ardenari and two of Arger squads. So there's about to be a lot of people shooting everywhere all at once. Turn three, let's do this thing. I have the transponder. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's like I'm at a raid. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be placing it right here. I'm just going to just plant my Help foot mother. <laughs> on the floor and just go all the way out. Yeah. <laughs> the transmat disgorges the best Hugin has to offer in a bloodthirsty, frothing rage. Will the sons of Bowden prevail over their would-be invaders? Wait, that's a huck. You promised me a huck at the beginning of this match. We discussed it. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta, exactly. I gotta give you a huck. You can't take the huck back once you that's promise right. it. I misspoke, <laughs> yes. Ooh, that's 12 on the side for the Ostman, nine for the Concord. Turn three is gonna be the bloodiest yet. Ostman. As this turn begins, as a reminder, all Henry has to do is get onto this pad while there are no enemies present. So this is gonna get wild. First things first, I'm going to an attempt an advance order with this vehicle. Uh, it's, it's not super likely. Well, no, it's pretty likely. Yeah, I, it's, I, it's I command 10. I command 10, so. I yeah, you're good. Okay, so I remove a pin, and then I, advance, I can advance seven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get right up on this so Henry can like get out and get on the transmat, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, and I will use the shooting not great odds, and there's a lot of drones in there that I kind of want to destroy. So I'm just gonna try to gun for ones on that unit. Okay. Ones to hit. Oh, you got a one. Who is it gonna go on? That is an interesting question. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter who I target with this one. Yep, because I have Sacrificial Buddy, so whoever he targets right now, it doesn't matter because the spotter drones killed itself. Ooh, the C3. First things first, this strike squad's gonna do a fire order into the Huck because it's the most dangerous unit on the field, sans Henry's insane one. So they are gonna use rapid fire with the regular uh, strike troops. The leader's gonna use the X-Sling. X-Slings are inaccurate and they have rapid, like I said, so everybody hits on fives. This is gonna be brutal. Ooh, so. Actually, that that's, wasn't great. Yeah, I would say that was terrible for me. <laughs> so two tens, I can't re-roll. I can re-roll one of these. Oh one of these, which is a fail. So I've hit two times with strike. I use zero and uh, lucky with the uh, uh, sling net. Do you, so, do you, well, the sling net doesn't go on anyway. Yep, it's just two pins. Yep, two pins. Um, I'm assuming you're taking it on the uh, dogs. Ye well, do I? The hawk has like wound, right? 
Yes. No, I'll take it on the dogs. I'll take okay, it on the dogs. Okay, so the, I'm almost positive the dogs have res seven. No, oh, no, they all have res eight. Res eight. Ugh, so, uh, in a horrible <laughs> turn of events, I didn't kill anybody. I mean, hey, two pins is a lot. <laughs> Ostman. My Vardanari squad has the best chance of whittling away at those protective drones, and with an advance order, they can easily clear uh, this barrier. I'm going to make sure I'm not blocking Henry in case he needs to charge this turn. Um, and I will be firing rapid fire into Kevin's new who, hoping to remove as many of those uh, drones as humanly possible. I'll be hitting on threes. Threes? Ones and twos. Oh. Well, it didn't matter because I rolled mostly ones. Uh, this one's cocked. Okay, so... You get to have officially ah. re-roll one of those. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm just, you're good, you're good. I'm just fumbling. You got three ones, and those are the only things that hit, so... Oh! Ah, hit. Wait, does it? Yeah, I actually missed both because okay. it's six to five because of rapid fire. Minus two is uh, three, it's not two. Okay, hell yeah, that is slightly above statistics. Now, I am going to place one on the new who itself. I'm going to place one on the batter field. Okay. Uh, Lucky's only oh, one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll place one on the batter field and Correct. hope, yeah, and you can allocate the rest to your sacrificial buddy. Yes. So using Sacrificial sim or, uh, Drone, I'm gonna get rid of the Medi Drone instead of the Batter Drone, because it gives me more of an advantage. Yeah, and that's then, for sure true. I'm going to take a res on all of them. The Kraz are res eight, she is res seven. And I am strike value zero? Yep. So everybody's good. But I do you take a pin. Postman. I'm going to attempt to move with my Huck. He's at uh, command 10 at the moment, and he's good, so I lose a pin. The Huck is <laughs> thundering towards this new who. Uh, he's going to shoot at them. Now he has accuracy five, but it gets boosted to six due to his special, like specialized mag gun. Uh, and then that's down by one. So it's back to five. Down by two for the batter field. And down by two for the batter field. So it's uh, uh, three step. Three is to hit, come on. Ho -ho! Oh, lucky. And I can convert that to a lucky because of his weird sniper roll. Correct. And I will, of course, put it on the batter field once again. Okay, so I will get rid of one of my gun drones now, instead, okay. and not take a pen from that. Yes, correct. C3. Since I cannot charge with the new who yet, I will charge with this strike value, or strike value, this strike value squad, they were <laughs> half off. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna charge Henry's transport. That's right, we're getting out the plasma grenades and trying to take out this beast. I'm going to have basically two rounds of chucking grenades at him. They will compound, so I'm hoping I just hit get a strike that's gonna actually screw it up. But the funny thing is, is as I, in, or I'm sorry, as I come in uh, for the kill, I'm gonna actually just shoot with my normal guns because they're all strike value two. Okay. And, well, no, actually, yeah, 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 because yes. I can't get through your armor with strike value zero. So I'll first shoot. Because it is a large target, I will be hitting on Five? Six. Sixes, yeah. So even though this is like a advanced almost. So, I unfortunately missed three times, but I do have a drone. Nope. So, two hits. Now that's strike value two. So, Sergey will fail that on ten. Oh, so no failures, but that is going to cause a pin. And, and then I to strike back. I will unfortunately only be hitting on ones. Ooh. Oh, wait. Maybe let's do the map on two. It's. Your, yeah, it is once because your accuracy is five, your minus two pins, minus one for being a support weapon and an assault, and minus one for rapid yeah, fire. So it's Time to get out the grenades. I'm hitting on five and they're compounding. Oh, so uh, I don't think I get a spot or reroll in close combat. So it's trying to four. Four. So you're going to fail on a lot. Seven. Oh, that's God, a that's a failure. I'm pretty sure. 11 minus four. No, that's a pass. Oh, that's a pass. Yeah, you needed seven. Okay, you bastard. Follow on combat. I get one more chance to do this. Whoop. That's two hits this time. So that combines to just be a strike value two. I'm good. And a four, you're good. Dang. So I tried my damnedest, but unfortunately, uh, it's just too strong. So I'm going to consolidate away from him and they cower in their original position. Holstman. I'm going to advance with this unit here uh, and just kind of like reposition a little bit so I can shoot at that new who okay. as unimpeded as possible. 
Um, and it's just gonna be like a million shots. Oh, you got an extra guy in there. Do oh. <laughs> Somebody must be the barrel rider. Okay, so that's two shots apiece. Hitting on twos. Dang, pretty freaking good. Wow, man, really good. <laughs> Yugen smiles down on us. Bowden Sun's Veil parts with a hail of steel. So that's uh, four <laughs> hits and you get to allocate one of them as a lucky. Oops. Yeah, okay, so the, uh, obviously once again, the lucky is going to be going on the- uh, Batterfield? The Batterfield, yeah. For, so I will have the Batterfield absorb, or uh, shot be absorbed by the other gun drone okay. and my last drone that I can do that with. And so I must take three shots on my guys again. Which are, they're pretty safe because they're yep. strike value zero. So Nuhu is fine. The two Kras are both fine. Okay, but it is a secondary pin. Awesome. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other Barger spot, but it's a fire order this time. So it'll be uh, threes instead of twos. Ooh, worse, a lot worse. So I'm assuming your lucky is allocated to the battery. Once again, on the battery field, yes. Okay, so I will delete Delete. I will sacrifice my last buddy possible and get rid of the other gun drone. Okay. And then I'm still gonna have to take three hits. Uh, I will take the um, uh, strike value one hit on a cross. So that blue, uh, this will be the cross. I'm fine. The new who is fine. The other cross is fine. Okay. So it'll be one more pin. Yep. Third pin. Awesome. I'm going to move up with this. Uh, legally not warthog. Ah! <laughs> God damn it, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to advance with this warthog adjacent but legally separate vehicle here uh, up to right about there. And I'm going to once again fire more pop shots into the new who because it's the most important thing on the field. I'm hitting on twos, which is not great, but it is hopefully going to roll a one. No, no. Ah. That's okay. Concord. Mm. The first of my drop squad is going to advance from this long edge onto the road and fire everything it's got into Henry's transport. That's two lasers with the black dice hitting on fours. Everything else hits on fives and it's strike value two. Woo, so I can't reroll that one, but the one laser hits, Oof. everything else hits two. So it's a strike value three and a strike value four. No, strike four. value four. No, this doesn't compound. So it's oh, a strike value right. two. So you fail only on tens with these dice. You fail on anything above a seven with this one. Yeah, roll one. Ooh. Oh. So, no, no, we're good. So okay. just one pin. Postman. I'm going to advance with this vehicle and uh, place its hull against, uh, against the barrier so I can advance over it easily um, and fire once again into the new who. So once again, ones or twos to hit. Yeah. Oh, ah, damn. All right. Well, I started off the turn very lucky. I'll take it. You. Just in case anyone was wondering if new who's are good in Antares 2, I just fired an entire army worth of bullets into this unit, and I have caused just three pins and no casualties. Second drop squad comes on. Same thing. Wasted yeah, yeah. to the side. I'm really regretting not doing a recovery order because if he does three. Oh! oh. Everything hit. So the black dice oh. fail on anything but seven or below. The other dice fail on a ten. Roll it for me. Oh! Oh! oh, no. oh. Okay. okay. So I get a roll on the chart. Uh, if you do three pins, I'm so screwed. Three. Oh no! I don't know what that means. Oh, this is cat. I should have done a recovery order. I messed up, boys. Ooh, with the three, it is a it. Well, so the vehicle would lose a mod, so we need to take an order dice out of the bag. But the vehicle's co normal command is only seven, and so I've just caused. It says a D four plus one extra pins. Well, if I do a pin, and there's two pins, no matter what. I've pinned out the vehicle, and so the vehicle is destroyed, and Henry's unit must be forced down. No! Cool guys, don't look at explosions. We've got Henry and Arch Coordinator Aether and the Muraton Bodyguard forming this ridiculous 10-man squad that we've created for Henry's uh, retinue. Overkill! Overkill! <laughs> uh, so they are now facing down the new who. This is the this is the boss battle. Yes. Um, however, they are down, so they can't do anything this turn. 
This is about to become a very, very nice edge on who gets oh, the initiative face. on turn four. <laughs> Oh man, this battle just got way more interesting and not a very pleasant way for me. <laughs> I just realized too, the, the nuke just got like, like shot out of the explosion and it's fine. Yeah. Instead of blowing listen, up the entire planet. Well, listen, it's very stable. It has free more technology. <laughs> C3. Okay, these guys are really far back there, but they can still do something. I just do a command. Oh my God. <laughs> so they don't lose their panic. Oh down. my God. <laughs> Rick, why do you hate the C3? <laughs> Three again. Roll Same thing. Ten. For these Roll guys. a ten. Six. Okay. So we're good. <laughs> so they lose their pin. They definitely have to advance to see anything, and I'm going to go as you know as far out as I can. And I'm going to shoot at Henry's unit that is down. Definitely a hail mary shot, but it's easy it is, in line of sight. It is what it is. The smoke obviously so does not count for anything. Minus four for the range and your cover, so I'm only hitting on ones. And so I will of course. Oh no, I mean, you can't do rapid fire long. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna hit only on ones. I get one reroll because the spotter. So nothing. Oops. Am I dropping? Nope. So misses on all accounts. Ostman. I'm going to advance with this unit, which gets me into effective range of Kevin's command squad. Yeah. Uh, so I'll then fire on fire on them. Uh, that makes me at fives to hit, which is pretty good. You it's, get not, it's not great. Hey, oh, the one. So you want to take it on the leader? Uh, is he any different? Yeah, he's just commander. Is? Oh, but he's tough. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so I don't think I care. I'm well, I got a med droid anyways. Oh, okay, yeah, then I'll put it on the leader. That makes sense. And he's big dead. And I'm pretty sure he's big dead still, because his res is uh, uh, sevens plus two is nine. Yeah, so nine minus seven is one or two. So the commander is dead. The Concord. Must take a command test to do an advance order with them. They're good, they lose their pen. They're gonna just simply move to a position where they can see down into that unit. Yeah, which is pretty easy to do. Yep, I'm gonna, I have accuracy six with them naturally. So they're gonna be sixes to hit, but I have to reroll everything because he's down. Sixes. Ooh. Ooh, that's three hits, but you need to re-roll. Oh, so... Uh, so two, two hits, hits. Yeah. two hits. So two hits, obviously you can take it on anybody you want. So, yeah. You could literally take it on Hellhounds and keep your spicy troops if you wanted. I'll be taking those hits on two regular guys. Oh my God, they're oh, both fine. Wow. Oh, wowee, okay. okay. <laughs> C3. Fire order with my last strike squad is gonna be obviously into Henry's. I'm gonna be hitting on sixes. I'm just doing single shots with everybody. Can I react by going like super down? You wish. Suck dirt. Sixes. Ooh, all of them hit. Now I don't have to reroll the single one. Yeah, correct. I gotta reroll everything else. Ooh, they all still hit. So obviously one's going on uh, Henry, Henry yeah. and then are you taking the rest, the rest of the normal barter? Go on a regular barter so Henry will be the blue. They all have the same res of four. Jesus, with their freeborn res armor. Oof. So Henry fails once. Okay. One of the normal dudes fails, and another normal dude fails. Okay, so, so you have reroll Henry. Obviously and Henry's got one, one of the normal dudes for the medic. So, oh my God, he's fine. Right, we'll do fine. Come on, Henry. Oh! oh. So Henry so. fails, but he does have the wound special rule. So now his, uh, I, I guess I get an extra pin and it's permanent. Like I cannot Correct. cover that off. So, well, so I have three pins, that's brutal. Although, look at the symmetry here. Yeah. This is about to be quite the Symmetry of a giant nuke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last dice in the bag and it's gonna have to be a Hail Mary shot because nothing matters except for this final climactic combat between the new who and Henry. Um, so I just gotta hit a one. No, nope. re-roll for a spotter. Cocked. Oh, come on. Nah. Oh, I just realized we thought we had too many dice in the bag, but that's because I thought I moved the new who already. So the la real last order dice in the bag is the new who who is obviously just gonna do a recovery. She's, wait, oh yeah, because it's she's leadership 10, so we're good. So nine, six pins, she's down to no pins. The last dice in the bag is the one that was in this vehicle that I very nearly forgot about. 
Uh, so we are going to advance onto the field and fire at Kevin's new who that is just under recovery order to hopefully put a pin back on her. Um, it's going to be oh, and the and the leader in the back there. Wait, do it. No, that was too many people. <laughs> uh, so it'll be ten shots and then uh, a eleventh shot with the rocket launcher at strike value three. It's gonna be twos and threes. Ooh! Oh no! Well done. Well, you got one, one, and a three in there. Okay, right. that's, so fine. Exactly that's fine. That's exactly what you wanted. Everything else missed, though. Okay, so the one is... Okay, so here's the thing. Do I care about the battlefield anymore? Yeah, because I... That's Yeah, that's the thing. Because I, Cause I'm I can't you. stop you from destroying it now. Yeah. And you, like you said, close combat, the battlefield does nothing. Yeah. Well... But you could shoot the piss out of me with everybody else, though. That's true. I think uh, I'm going to put the lucky on the new who and hopefully wound her. Just to hopefully get lucky. Okay, and I will take the uh, rocket launcher and the cross. Yeah. Ooh, they're both fine. Oh no. Yeah, because the cross are what eight, eight. down to th yep. So you just freaking barrel chested a RPG. <laughs> they're like. Wotan, or what is it, Jotun, or something like that, the giant? Yeah. <laughs> Henry has a down order. It's not a good thing. Um, he's passing on a seven. Oh, thank God. He does lose a pin. That's actually optimal. I also have a down. And they're good, finally. It all comes down to this. A fateful standoff between the sons of Bodin and the Concord Combined Command. Henry has been wounded, but the new who has been whittled down to just a few of her sacrificial buddies. Who will win this epic duel of fates? Oh no! Going into what I think will be the last turn, turn four. The Osmond have been whittled down to 10 order dice, and the Concord are almost even at nine. How will this campaign end? First dice, turn four. There's like a sinking pit in the bottom of my stomach. Yes! <laughs> Hugin, I'm charging your ass. A fateful roll this is. Yes, so I need an eight or lower, or I can't charge. Or I can't down. I'll go down. Oh, this sucks. Oh, oh no. no! Poor Henry. Oh, Poor the, Henry. The wound. His guts are just like you. falling out as he's clutching at his stomach and he can't move on. Now, there are a lot of special rules that are going to help the champion of Hugin in his darkest hour. <laughs> but we'll see if they actually help. I don't know what to do. Me? And it just got so much worse. My drop squad is going to charge the champion of Hoogan's unit. I'm going to do a sprint check, <laughs> which I pass with flying colors. Okay. But now, yes. I'll say now so the if special is going to come into play. Yes. If you'll remember, the Muraton bodyguard had the bodyguard special rule, which meant if the person he was protecting got charged, he could then break off from the unit and counter charge. We've given that special rule to both the Muraton bodyguard and to the heroic arch coordinator Aether, who you've been hearing the awesome vocal tags from. Uh, I am going to choose to have just her break off and counter charge. Well, this it's unit. her, her, her bodyguards. Her and her bodyguards. Yeah, yeah sorry. Um, and I'm assuming whatever her drones are. Yes. But yeah, so the, she is going to be now fighting the good fight. <laughs> to try to stop with these units. The champion of Hugin from being killed. Yes. So we, as we are both approaching, we all have plasma carbines, um, and my unit has plasma lances, and so I'm actually going to use the plasma lances to try to murder you. So I'll be hitting on fours with the plasma lances, fives with the plasma um, uh, carbines, and then you have basically the same thing. Yeah. Well, I have a plasma pistol, uh, which will be strike value two, and then two plasma uh, carbines, so it's strike value two. Be strike yeah. value two. Yep. Arch Coordinator Aether is hitting on sixes, but I must re-roll because he sprinted. And, Ooh. oh, miss. oh, miss. She was really rattled watching Henry take one to the belly. Well, she was technically coming from a down position, so we'll say that makes sense. Now, same thing for me. I'm hitting on fives and fours with the lances. Ooh, 
So only two regular shots hit, but then I'm gonna reroll one of the lances. Oh, so it's a lance and two strike value twos. So, uh, yeah, it's just gotta go one on everyone. The lance is gonna go on a bodyguard. Bodyguard, I think, is, is weirdly fine. Oh, no, yeah, because you're eight down yeah. to... Uh, this... Oh, no, 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 it's not close combat. He's dead as hell. Oh, yeah, he's dead. 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 Oh! Dead. So she's whooped. Yeah. <laughs> oh, our coordinator, Aether, you should have stayed in space. <laughs> no, she's dead. She doesn't have wounds. Oh, Ooh. she was weirdly valiant in... <laughs> Defending Hugen yeah. and has now died. <laughs> the C3 are encroaching ever closer. This is looking like it might be a tragic end to the saga of Hugen. Who knows? Oh no. Whoa, C3 again. Oh god, this is a sad day for <laughs> Intel Independence. <laughs> Naturally, I have uh, an entire unit of drop squad. So I'm gonna sprint and charge into Henry's unit once again. Now, the thing is, is that Sergei can use the Miraton uh, bodyguard to launch out and stop the charge, if he so chooses. I, I can do that. Now, this might be the worst decision I've ever made in all of Wargaming, and it might doom an entire civilization to subjugation by the C3. But if I fight all together and take this charge, I very well may be able to consolidate onto the platform, thus winning the game this turn. The only problem is, is that you would attack second in close combat. Oh, because I'm down. You're down. Now, granted, my drop troops are armed with plasma carbines, but they also are all armed with, well, I'm sorry, three of them are armed with X slings. So those can be used in close combat to generate strike value zero hits. So it really is like how brave you feel. What's it gonna be, Sergey? I have been sitting in the seat deliberating for quite some time now, and I think it's an incredible risk, but I have to take the charge. I, I, I have to take the charge. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Oh, my heart hurts. I think it's the right thing to do. So I actually realized I'm within 14 inches, so I'm not sprinting. All my guys, though, charging right in. So Sergey is down. So he does get to shoot at me, but it's second. And I do have to reroll hits against him. So what I'm gonna do is, in the interest of not being inaccurate, I'm gonna fire with all regular strike value two shots, because I'll get a reroll. And that means I'm gonna be hitting on fives rather than four. And he does get to go first, because I am down, which is why I was so nervous about this. But I still think it's the right choice. Uh oh crap. So two misses. I get a re-roll one. So uh, three hits. But you have to re-roll because I'm down. Yep. Well, I have a one, so the one does not have to re-roll. Okay. Oh Ooh, okay. so that is three, three total hits. hits with one of them I get to choose. Okay, who's it going on? The lucky is assigned to Henry. Then but the loyal, loyal bodyguard, bodyguard puts it onto the, the Miraton, and then you have two more Just regular, guys. regular guys. So the regular guys fail on anything above a four, the Miraton fails on anything above a seven. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so I, oh, well, you get one reroll for the medic. Okay. Uh, so I smoked two regular oh, people brutal. and caused a pen. Okay, now, however, I get to shoot back. Yes. Okay, the Miraton is hitting on fours, Henry is hitting on fours, and so are the Hellhounds. Uh, actually, no, the Hellhounds are hitting on threes. No, they're hitting for rapid fire, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. rapid fire, sure. So, and then he is hitting on uh, <laughs> ones, right? Yeah, ones. Yeah, okay, so uh, the pistol is gonna be the yellow and the uh, green. green. The uh, uh, Miraton is the black, and blue is Henry. And that was not great. So hit, all that misses, hit as the one, and the two fours hit. Yep. No, they're threes. Oh yeah, you're right, they're threes. Oh, so I just hit with one. That's okay. Two, you hit two. Uh, he's taking the strike value two on a leader. He rolls a seven, which uh, is a fails. failure. 
and a six, Ooh, which is a also failure. a failure. Yeah, so the leader is six. dead, and the uh, strike value one is on a uh, non-land sky, but he's fine. Yeah. So the leader is dead, and I do a fail. Yeah. Even though the leader is dead, I still get to punch first in close combat. So I have two guys armed with X-Lings, two guys with just their plasma grenades. So I'm gonna have, uh, yeah, they're all hitting since I charged on sixes. Whoa, so one one grenade at strike value one hits and one X-Link hits. Oh, and that blooms out of D3, correct? Correct. Damn, one. Okay. Damn. Two, two, two. So uh, the uh, red dice is strike value one, the black dice is strike value zero. Okay. I'll take the strike value one on the, uh, is the Muraton up top? Yeah. Okay, so I'll take the strike value one on the Muraton and the other one on a regular guy. Oh, he fails one. He gets a reroll. He's good. The regular guy is good? No, the Muraton's, Muraton's good. Okay. Regular guy is red. Zero. No, yeah, six. Yeah, just six. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Still have one point ahead of you. You gotta kill someone to even it out. Yeah. The Muraton bodyguard has his Tonfo Maul, which is a uh, strike value three, two attacks, hitting on sixes. Henry has his big game hunting pistol, which is a uh, strike value three, one attack, uh, also hitting on sixes. And then all the rest of the guys are all strike value uh, zero. zero, hitting on uh, fours, correct? No, well, fives. fives for the right, the hellhounds, four for the medic. Okay, heard. Okay, here we go. Oh, the medic hit. The medic always hits. Um, so yeah, the right one of the regular guys hits. The t one of the Tom from all connects. Henry the medic misses, hits. unfortunately. Taking the strike value three on one of my lancers. Oh, so he's dead. He's dead, and this is strike value uh, zero. Correct. Well, these are both strike value zero. And they're gonna both them? be uh, ones on a, the yellows on a lance, the reds on a normal guy. Oh my dead. god. And fine. Fine. Oh my god. So that's kills two, two wins, people. Which means you have to take a break test. Yeah. Now I am leadership nine minus one for her pen, so she's giving me leadership eight close by. That is six minus three so i'm good so we continue on into the next round of combat yep because you were leadership nine yep so now i only have two characters one has a x-ling one has just kung fu uh concord kung fu but i'm hitting on fives no matter what red is the uh x-ling oh the so they both hit really d3 Causes. damn oh, oh man no the hot Voden Sun's Veil, it guards me from the grenades. So you get one strike value one, one strike value zero again. Okay. I'll take the strike value one of the Marathon once again. He fails. He is fine because he's res eight. Okay. I mean, res nine. Res down nine, yeah. Uh, who's taking this one? Uh, regular dude. He is dead as shit. He gets to reroll. Oh, he's <laughs> fine. Yes. Okay, so now. Give me that! <laughs> Shoot, or strike him back. Same stats as before, yeah, sorry. Well, actually better, because I oh, yeah, plus one won. because I won. So, I still miss with Henry. Henry always misses. So the normal guys both hit, and the Tom from all hits once. Yep. So, I'm going to take the Tom from all hit on my Lance, and the other two dice are going on the same dude. Oh, oh wow. I'm dead. This guy's fine though. But that's what matters. So I took one pin. more pin and my regular guy is dead. Having four pins in the exit of the combat means I've lost again. I must pass on a leadership of five or lower because of the new who's leadership. And I am fine oh. with a one. Oh, and so I lose a pin. pin. But okay, now so. I must consolidate. And I'm going to consolidate on I don't think there's there's, there's no way you there's can no stop way me. I can yeah. stop you. So I'll just it doesn't really matter. I'll put him right here. So and then I will consolidate. Let me grab a tape measure to make sure because this is very important. Yes. Henry holding in his guts crawls onto the platform, vomiting blood onto the pristine <laughs> the white nuke, surface. Like a like a loyal yeah, dog dragging the nuke <laughs> on. Um, He's holding it by the cone. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else. Uh, piles in behind him. I'm pretty sure another one could get on there, yeah. which is important. Oh, for sure, no, he could, yeah. yeah. 
Um, Isn't it funny? I wonder if this character knew that medical school was going to bring him to this moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he took some crazy <laughs> turns in his life. Um, and that's that's where it is now. If I'm able to kill two, both of those units off of this, I will win. But Kevin can also kill my units off of it. It's in which case, yeah, he won't. Wow. <laughs> okay, I have you where I want you, you bastard. Ah! <laughs> charge! Charge my shark warriors! <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, it's Huck time. The coolest model in the game. Yeah. Can he win? Okay. Oh, oh, so he test. passed the, the leadership to and... like nine or lower. Ooh. I'm so right. sorry. Sir, I broke it. I'm so sorry. I'm the just worst. leave it off the table. I'm sorry. You're not gonna see this in the of the video, but Sergey has literally tried to break the table I, all well, I've broken, day I've long. Like, listen, okay. I've only broken <laughs> three pieces of terrain. Okay. Um, I am at uh, agility six, so I'm gonna try to sprint. Oh. Uh, you gave <laughs> some of it. <laughs> oh well. It's okay. I have a pin too. And I'm going to. Actually, if you score a hit, you convert it into a lucky hit. Yeah. Exactly. And we're gonna just try to eat this. Yep, you survived with three doggos. That's yep. what's up. Okay, so in close combat, and as as you show, like come at me. I have one pin, so my accuracy of six goes down to five across the board. But the new who and her, well, it says state, but she's got an orb. She can launch three strike value three hits, and each of the cross can fire uh, strike value two hits. So I'm gonna have five hits total, all hitting on uh, five. I, on the other hand, have one shot, uh, but it converts to lucky if I hit and I'm hitting on five, so I'm just gonna roll that right now. And I hit. You're good. Uh, so. so I'll convert that to a lucky and I'll put it uh, directly on the new herself. So I will sacrifice my last buddy, which is the battlefield, and I'll buy that one shot. Now I will try to shoot back. Now the new who strikes back. I'm on fives and I have one reroll. Oh my god, so miss, miss. Miss, I will obviously roll real estate. Damn! Oh, yes. So one strike value three, one strike value two. Dogs, I assume? Uh, yeah, dogs, dogs. are eight. So they're all eight. So one dog is dead okay. and one lives. So I've caused one extra pin to you. Yep. Now, Kevin is winning in a big way because I have two pins to his one. But, but I <laughs> am a huck with dogs. So my yeah. huck has three attacks at strike value one, correct? Correct, because he has all, uh, what are they called? Electro lash. lash, yep. And, and my dogs each have two attacks at strike, strike value two. two. Yeah. Now my craws get to use their plasma carbines as close combat weapons, so they also have strike value two hits. But they're just one attack. Correct. And then the new who stays is three attacks at strike value six. And I'm not quite sure what I get to hit because she has agile, so she yeah, has so her agility. Yeah, so her agility is six, so I think ah, it's six okay. to hit. And then I think the craws are strike six, so. Okay, so now that we've or started the nitty gritty close combat, the new who, at it's actually, she's agility five, which is what she gets to use in close combat. So she gets the three attacks, strike value six, hitting on fives. The craws have strength seven and get one attack at strike value two because they use their carbines in close combat. The huck is strength seven, brought up to eight for charging. And he hits three times at strike value one with his electro lash. And then those dang ankle biters have two attacks each, also hitting on eights, strike value two. Wow. Oh. Devastating! She misses twice and a crass misses! <laughs> oh, so I only hit twice. Okay, I'll take it on a dog. And, <laughs> well, a dog uh, and a dog. Dog and a dog, yeah. So the first dog oh, is mega dead. Okay. The next dog is also mega dead. Okay, let's see how much I can mess you up in return here because I still get to strike with those dead dogs. Correct. Striking back. Oh, this is. All, everything is so fatal. Oh, everything Not... but one hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm eights because I charged. Thank goodness I charged. Okay, so my new... I got to check all their resins. So strike value one, strike value two. I'm obviously going to try to take the strike value one on the new who. So she is res six. Down to five. Down to five. Oh, my God, she passes. Oh, but... no. That's terrible. But the craws are down to seven res, so they only save on fives. So one is dead, because I don't have a uh, medic anymore. And one is fine. Oh no. So that's I only terrible. have one pin 
but I've down, I've lost the guy. You have four pins. But I have Henry's command. Yep, so it's a 50-50 chance. Oh, oh the no. Fuck is murdered. Murdered. Oh, 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 oh. Do you want to go ahead and consolidate off the platform? Yeah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and just exit the, the teleporter right now for you. Don't worry, buddy. You tried, buddy. Not even the crab shark can save you. <laughs> oh, man. That was not... I didn't, I didn't expect see that. that coming either. Yeah, I Ooh. thought she was about to be dead. But she's got no bells and whistles from this point on. Oh, Sven. Ooh, what are you going to do, Sergey? I am going to charge with these Vardinari into the new who. Mm. <laughs> They're very, these mercenaries, man. They are worth every penny. They do not care about who. dying. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh when you can't kill the single drop squad guy with three pennies. Oh, I know, yeah, absolutely. That's what's gonna happen. That He's gonna be horrifying. Horrifying. <laughs> Okay, so you got five of uh, Antara's finest. Yeah, uh, you I do need to roll a sprint check. Yeah, I was gonna have to do a sprint check. Sorry, bad roll. Three, There's you're good. three. Um, and I have uh, accuracy six. Accuracy six. Do you have an X sling that you want to use? Because you hit on five with pen, two pins. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um, and then are you doing rapid or single shot? I'm gonna do single shot. Can I kill you? Oh my god, she misses every <laughs> shot. No, the six hits, right? No, no he's because two the pins. pins. Oh. So only the Kras hits. I'm assuming you're no, taking another regular guy. Two, right? No, because he's at six to oh, four. Oh, you're right, correct. And I kill a normal guy. Uh, I don't have a medi, right? Correct. Okay, yeah, so that guy's dead. Wait, what? Oh, you I... do have a medic! Oh, yeah, I do. Hell yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's all according to plan. Okay, so the moment of truth is I only have the new who now. And she does hit 50 50 three times, strike value six. So anybody I hit is about to turn into hamburger meat. But Sergey does have four guys with plasma grenade that yep. can combine, hitting on sixes because he charged. Yep. And his leader has an X sling that can hit sixes because he charged. So the X sling. Oh, thank God I charged. This is um, only two of the carbines go. Yeah, but that's not great. Or the uh, two of the uh, grenades. Yeah, so that's strike value so, one. No, strike value two because it combines. Oh, yes. And I. Oh, yes. Come on, go on. Oh, my res is uh, currently five. Oh! Yes! <laughs> <He's dead. laughs> oh! The space wizard. So I'm hitting back all three fives to hit. Oh, oh. I gave you a nice little party it's gift there, Sergey. Yeah. So you don't have to take it on a leader because you have plenty of guys, but. Yeah. They're all strike value six, so they all only pass on. One, oh, yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> wait, 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 medic? Nope. Okay. So, the new who was murdered, but in the end, she killed three Vardinari at the last second. So, uh, you take three pins from that devastating last bit yeah, of damage. I'm just going to consolidate three of your pins. Yeah, so you steal three multiple pins and the, the new who boss monster. Oh my god, let if, us take if, a moment. I that new one... who took literally a whole <laughs> army's worth of shooting. Yeah. Then more shooting, then a huck charge, and finally a full strength squad of Ardenari <laughs> had to kill her. <laughs> and and she they almost died. Killed them, yes, yeah. they, oh wait, she took more than fifty percent. You have to take, oh, a, yeah, you have to take right, a leadership right. test. Uh, and you're out too with three pins. No, because I'm command ten because of Henry. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah so right. I'm good. Okay. I wish we had like a little spray can of like yeah. blood that we could just like splatter all over the piece of yeah. terrain. When that nuke, when that nuke gets through, it's definitely going with a lot of human blood at the same time. Yeah. And a lot of alien blood too. Yeah. Okay. So you obviously are going to consult still on the clay. I'm assuming you don't really have any advantage. Of yeah, because I can't. I, I I would love to body block here, but it's just not really viable. Yeah, you only got two people. So okay, let's go back for the hand in the bag. All of the mercenaries are dead, except for those two Vardinari. All of almost everybody is dead. So it's just the Osman <laughs> now, and I got one man stopping you. All I need is another dice, though. I'm good. Please let this be me. Ah! <laughs> okay, well, can you kill one guy with a whole unit of six dudes? Oh, the question. I, I hope so. <laughs> The might of the Allfather flows through our fists as we thunder down the field onto this final lone C3. We do need to sprint. Oh, you failed. And we're, our honky-chonky <laughs> legs can't quite make it there. 
But I'll we're hyped you. and we're I'll ready. I'll kill you. <laughs> I can do it with one guy. I can kill you. So now you are you are literally hitting one less now. You have rapid fire. <laughs> yeah, I got a pin. So everybody, including your you have machine gun. I'm only hitting one? on threes. Yeah, yes. I do have a machine gun. It's not in that unit. Somehow it got mixed up, but there's a machine gun in there yes. somewhere. Boop, boop. There you go. <laughs> okay, so with your pin, all of your guys hit on three yep. because you're accuracy five. But, but I have 13 shots. Yes, with three of them being from a light machine gun. So uh, that's hitting on twos, right? Oh, yeah, it's a support weapon. weapon, yeah. So twos and threes, and you don't have to reroll, but let's see what happens. Threes. Not great. Oh, oh no. actually, pretty great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <whoa. laughs> that's gonna be a really long beep. I have to add. <laughs> Who cares? Um, so uh, yeah, you have that many shots uh, on you, buddy. Uh, 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 <laughs> so I'm I'm res six. Yeah. I can do it. I can do it. You cannot. I can do it. You absolutely can. One. Are you safe? Is good. Two is good. No! Yes. Wait, no, no! no <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what that means, Odin son. This guy goes away in all of the insane fire, and this leaves a brief moment where the Concord does not control where this is, or where this is. What's on top of in their the transmat? In the boat of stillness, we all leave the transmat except for one man, <laughs> Henry the Red. Riding on the silver horse of this nuclear missile as he transmats into space. Even though he had been struck by plasma, suffering a mortal wound, Henry the Red, legendary Vogger commander, dragged himself through the firefight and all but collapsed upon the transmat pad. Without saying a word, Henry activated the device on his wrist and he, along with the modified nuclear weapon, disappeared in a warbling flash of light. Moments later, night became dead warship was torn asunder from within, its innards cascading across the atmosphere, burning up as they descended. All across the surface of Hugen, the remaining enemy seemed to become uncoordinated, almost confused, and were neutralized in short order. Through their courage and sacrifice, the invasion had been repelled, and the battle was finally over. And so is told the legend of Henry the Red, slayer of the serpent which came to swallow our world. Know that it was bravery that won that day, and for those who would attempt where the would-be invaders failed, heed the fangs of the Vulcan. I'm upset that you won. <laughs> no, that was awesome. Yeah, I don't care. That yeah. was super fun. Was, I literally yeah. was like, I was telling Sergey at the beginning that I was like, me of little faith. I was like, man, I really feel like maybe it would be lame if uh, Henry didn't win. And I was like, we should give him plot armor. And you were like, absolutely yes, not. Yes, well, so <laughs> the, behind the scenes a little bit, Kevin was rooting for me to win. I think. Yeah because he likes a heroic ending. I was desperately praying that I was going to lose so we could have this tragic dower, like the spread of horrid C3, like. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I was going for the for the, for the the evil ending. <laughs> in, in true, so this is what I would say, one of the biggest reasons why I will always love Gates of Antares is one of the best war games ever. It's just the, the mechanics of this, that's the only way that a fight like this could result because yeah. the, the order dice, like the order dice system, and the pool system, really is the only reason why this fight was able to happen. And oh, it yeah. really was down to if I would have gotten that dice, I would have charged you, and you would have most like you'd most likely be dead. Well, I'm sorry, oh, yeah. you would have been able to solve one charge with the Miraton, but yes. I had two units yeah, that could like charge if, you. If I had not gotten full that strength, dice, like things would not have gone. Well, yeah, I was like I, right on the cusp of not <laughs> things not going well. And for <laughs> someone who is psycho obsessed with the narrative, you know, obviously this was created with the intention of the Ho the Hoogan being the downtrodden and the people who you want, they're the underdog you want to win. Yeah. Um, but I'm so glad that it was so hard for Henry. He literally got shot in the, the last phase yeah, of the fight. Yeah, no, literally. Mortally like, wounded. Yeah, he's just like holding <laughs> like, his gun. Like there's, 
there's like blood soaked on his beard as he's like crawling one handed onto the platform. <laughs> oh, literally, and it was just this photo finish. And so, you know, uh, I'm happy to know that the the peep, the Ostman of Hugen, the Ferals. Uh, who are so undergunned in the end were able to triumph yeah. over the technologically. I mean, they had to have the freeborn self, it's whatever. Yeah, they the, did. The, 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 technically, yeah. now the, the Austin of Hugen are uh, part of the, the fiefdom of, yeah. of they are well, now, Arch Coordinator Aether's faction, who is now dead. Well, she was Everyone's just dead. The All four, of the yeah. characters are dead, right? The, so yeah. Aether's dead, he, uh, Henry's dead. Everybody who is a big yeah, yeah. the Algorand <laughs> commander whose name is escaping me is dead. The two hellhounds and the dock were able to survive, so they're definitely getting like a. Uh, I like to think that that dock was the one in the first battle who didn't save his friend and killed somebody else, and it's just continuing. <laughs> no, on that, that was the, that was the separate unit. Yes, so it was. It this was, was this has been the same the guy the whole time and hasn't died yet. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, but no, overall, uh, not a better way to end the campaign. Yeah, that was I, phenomenal. No, I'm, I'm hyped. That was Super really hyped. fun. <laughs> uh, well, we really hope, uh, and especially Bible Pro, we hope that you enjoyed the conclusion of yeah. this campaign that you inspired. Uh, and you know, hats off to uh, Michael Crow, our incredibly generous Patreon, who inspired this campaign. Mm -hmm. um, but on that note, hats off to all of our patrons. Yes. Oh my God, we can't tell you how much we appreciate the support from each and every oh, one yeah, of you. Absolutely. Well, and you, you know, this was an elaborate setup, and that can only happen because of all the awesome support that you guys get. I mean, go watch our first battle report, and then watch this battle report. They're different, they're different beasts. And that's you guys, right there. And, as always, we must thank the fine ranks of our tabletop commanders, Nick Hobbs, Elizabeth Allen, Will Connell, Les Stevenson, Amelia, and our tabletop warlords, Knight Silva, and Michael Crow. And, as always, the last shout-out goes to the best man we've ever known, and nigh the best man in the world, our tabletop emperor himself, John Roberts! Long may he reign the God Emperor! He's like 14 and a half feet tall. <laughs> oh, definitely. I've never feet. seen him in 17 feet tall. I've seen pictures. I assume 17 feet tall. When he's hungry, he just cracks open a whole house to get at the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> that it was bravery that won that day, and for those who would attempt where the would-be invaders failed, heed the fangs of the wolf. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it, I wish you were, are you recording on your end? I, I am, yeah. <laughs> oh, please, you gotta, you have to have that be the stinger. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will.